Right, so this is the new Pocket 6K Pro. Um, I just want to run through a few things quickly about my initial impressions. First of all is the built-in ND filter. Um, the button placement is excellent. It is very near where your thumb would work. So just with a flick of a button, you can see how many stops of ND there is. So it's two, four, six. And if you press again, it goes back to clear. So according to BMD, this has IR cut. So this would be something interesting that I will be testing out. Then the next thing is that the option of having an additional EVF at the top. And that's really good. That costs over 700 Singapore dollars and it's not very cheap, but still it is a great option for people who need them. So the next big feature is this articulating screen. And this is a major gripe of the last two pocket cameras. And I'm really glad to say that this is very well done. It is very, very solid. It goes about 45 degrees down and upwards, it can go all the way 90 degrees up. So if you're doing a low mode on a gimbal or a slider shot, this is really, really handy. And I also want to say that the screen is as sharp as before. But what's worth mentioning is the screen brightness. If you look at this, this is now at 100%. It's probably blowing out my camera a little. Now I'll take it down to 50%. And it is so nice. The next notable feature is the implementation of B-RAW for 4K. Previously, you were kind of forced to record in 6K if you wanted. B raw but now you can have it in two flavors of 6k 5.7k 4k dci only 3.7k anamorphic and 2.8k and if you go to prores raw then you can get ultra hd and hd so one thing to note is that when you are in 6k you get a full sensor area but once you go to 5.7k it crops in and it is the same for 4k so it crops in i don't know what is the crop factor right now but all i know is that it is cropping quite a lot So you now you get two mounting holes at the base and both are quarter inch strangely rather than one being a quarter and the other being three eighth. So we come to the last notable new feature and basically this is the two new mini XR jacks. So now you have the possibility to do three audio inputs, two via the mini XR and one via the 3.5mm. So one previous major issue of the pocket is the battery life. So this time they changed to this F570 and this is the original one that comes with it. It's rated at 25.9 watt hour and I've tried using it together uh, with the Hawkwoods at 25 watt hours and it seems pretty good. I have no issues of the battery jamming the Door. So that's welcome. Thank you for watching, and that's all for today's quick run through of the new Pocket 6K Pro.